Why are Republicans trying to block Biden's loan forgiveness? What I don't understand is why they were not against the $400 billion PPP loan forgiveness. Would they not be the same argument? It is clearly rampant with fraud. HTTPS www.nbcnews.com slash business slash personal finance slash government has forgiven nearly 400 billion COVID relief pulpilons and 1,274,618 HTTPS ca.movies.yahoo.com slash White House puts Republican Sloan 00170 I'm an independent and I just wish we would fix the root of the problem which is schools charging too much. This loan forgiveness idea while I know they are trying to help is just a band-aid to a gapping womb. Arguably, it's a huge cost for the federal government that didn't even go through the legislature. Here's what actually should happen. Rather than these financial institutions charging interest on a loan, the government should take the loans and do a 0% interest rate. That way if you have to take out a loan you aren't paying interest for 20 years. But politicians want votes and they would rather give the money away than come up with an easy solution to actually fix the problem. I'm pretty conservative financially more socially liberal just because I think what people do is their own business and not mine. I would like to see college costs be brought down reasonably where you don't have to land a top 15% job or risk not paying it off. However loan forgiveness as they have it. For how many years does it continue? If the Fed eats that debt, it's not going towards anything but it's money that would have been earmarked elsewhere nonetheless. But then next year's class and 2038's class, or whatever, are they just going to go right back to signing the loan contracts and then be forced to pay? I guess my question would be why this 10-15 year group? Actually, most people with student debt fall on the Democratic side of the spectrum. Republicans have a greater share of working class, non-college educated people. So loan forgiveness is actually perceived as unfair, since they were taxed the same as everyone else but won't be receiving the benefit. The loan forgiveness does nothing to fix the actual problem. It's a band-aid over the actual issue while giving that quick boost right before the midterm elections. The issue is colleges and universities have increased the cost of tuition by 120% over the last 20 years while inflation has only been half of that the cost of getting a higher education has more than doubled and giving everyone loan forgiveness doesn't actually help reduce those costs republicans are against loan forgiveness because it doesn't fix the problem all it does is increase our debt and get a quick boost to the party's popularity it adds to the deficit for the benefit of college graduates who are more likely to vote Democrat. And this one-time bailout does nothing to check the high prices of these colleges. Nor does it solve the issue that college students are not able to find employment that offers a worthwhile return on their investment. Republicans see much of the progressive ideology as being a product of those colleges. Two, they didn't balk at wiping out debt for those who were taken advantage of by for-profit universities or for those with disabilities that prevent them from working to pay off their debts. But, rightly or wrongly, they see this as an unjustifiable executive action that acts as a payoff to the liberal college-educated elite, the Twitterati, who are their culture war enemies. Those people, who supported Democrats partially on promises of addressing student debt, made their life choices but the nation will shoulder their debt. Deficit financing, which will adversely affect all, including the working class, for the centrist or independent voter. If Roe v. Wade hadn't bolstered anti-Republican sentiment, 
This issue could very well have had a greater influence on anti-democrat opinion. I'm more confused as to why they blocked the disaster relief for Florida. It is a huge cost that doesn't even solve the problem. I guarantee OP doesn't read any of the answers. It's wildly expensive for a relatively low reward. There was no congressional vote. There is no reform at the collegiate level to stop the bleeding before applying the band-aid. Fiscally it doesn't make a lot of sense. Politically it's a lifesaver and a great idea to attract young voters. Making student loans bankruptable would have been a much greater help to the people who really need support rather than those who just want support. Surprised no one here mentioned only 60% of people have completed some college. Which means 40%, likely the lowest earners, certainly don't have students' loans to pay off. I'd like to see them also regulate how private loans are dealt with. The way the interest works is criminal and the fact it's the only loan on earth you cannot bankrupt. On? Good to see some get relief with federal loans but private loans are way worse. Because those middle and lower class voters would then want to vote for the Democrats. They'd lose their support and vote. What they can do is stop the loan forgiveness and paint it off as a lie from Biden. A lazy man's solution or just whatever else they can come up with to put themselves in a good light. And the Democrats in a bad one. They don't care about the American people, their livelihoods or how happy they are. They only care about their vote and their own power. So they'll try to stop almost every bill the Democrats put forward regardless of how it could benefit the American people or themselves. Because the goal of the GOP is to own the libs. It's that simple. If the other guys support it, it's bad. This is why I would love to see Biden and the Democrats start claiming global warming was fake. Because then the GOP would support environmental laws. Greed and lack of morals. College and healthcare are free in more progressive and developed countries. We've fallen about 100 years behind in the last six years and that's how the wealthy prefer it. They don't believe that it should be forgiven. Non-cynical answer which I actually believe so please attack my points. It incentivizes reckless lending, borrowing. Since borrowers can be off the hook for getting loans for degrees that aren't earnings positive, it creates a disincentive for paying off loans. For fear of missing out on future loan forgiveness. As it stands, you wait for a Democrat president term to be incoming. Then you take a one credit hour class and drop it. And borrow 10k. Using it on expenses while using 10k of savings for the stock market or investments. It worsens the debt, inflation. There's too much liquidity. Canceling out debt effectively pumps more cash into the system. People have more money to spend on gas and food. So prices go up. Right now we're trying to fight inflation. Every dollar in is another dollar the Fed has to obliterate out of the money supply with interest. Rates and lowering its balance sheet. To be honest. The forgiveness could have been timed much better. But clearly it's meant to be an election year bribe. Because they don't directly benefit from student loan forgiveness. They certainly didn't bitch and moan when all their PPP loans were forgiven. Weird. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Aircast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.